Hello, and welcome to a statue review of the Age of Heroes Froppy from Van Presto. So yeah, um, this is quite a new statue, I think it came out a few days ago, um, and we'll take a look at the box quickly and then we'll take a look at the statue itself. Now, you may notice something um, straight off the bat, which is interesting. At the bottom there, it says Age of Heroes Froppy and Uravity. Now, no, you have not been fooled, this is just one statue. As if we take a look on the side, also those are the two um, f shots, which are pretty darn cool. And that's the other one, a like, close-up of her face. But on the back, uh, we see this is an interesting release. I guess in the crane game thing, because obviously these are crane figures in Japan, um, the A thing is Froppy and B is Uravity, so I suppose maybe the kind of like crane game thing has two of them in there? It's very strange. I kind of presume that all the crane games had like a variety of them in there. But I suppose this is like a different set. I am tempted to get the Uravity one, but she's not as much my favourite as Froppy. But anyway, we've had a quick look at the box, so I'm going to um, slice into the top there and we'll take a look at what's inside. Alright, I'm back. I've sliced open the top and let's pull her out, shall we? Uh, as with the other one, she's really well packaged as well, fair play. And there we see Froppy without her head. Uh, her head is there and the base is there. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead now and assemble it all and then we'll actually take a look at the statue itself. BRB. Alright, I have returned and I have assembled her and damn, this is a good looking statue. So it's a little more basic than the uh, Mirio one that I opened a while ago. It's kind of on the level with the Deku one which um, I'll be putting in the photos just for like a scale comparison and stuff. Because the other two I bought are Age of Heroes as well, which I think of all of the My Hero Academia lines, it's probably my favourite for like the affordability price and also just the, the poses and stuff. So let's take a look at Asui or um, Froppy. Actually, let's wait for it to focus first. There we go. So let's start from the top down. Her goggles are very nice. She's got the, um, the cute like green lines on her face. Very well done. So we move down, they've modelled certain areas very well. Um, also, I've got to say, I'm really impressed that the um, there are like slight lines in her costume where you can tell it's sort of like fabric, if that makes sense. Um, I, I'm always a fan of when they manage to do that. The belt, of course, is done really well as well. The like holes and stuff are all, um, well, not see-through, but you know what I mean, there are holes there. Uh, as we'll turn around to take a look at the hair. So the hair, it's, it's a little bit simple in if that makes sense um there's not a ton going on until you get to this part obviously however there's not really many need for it to be overly stylistic or something it is just a large amount of hair so we got the bow which looks very nice it does look like hair that's tied into a bow really it's very weird like uh, her hair ribbon is kind of interesting and we got the end there which is very uh, in keeping with the anime aesthetic and then it's hard to see at the back there, but she's doing a kind of like bendy forward kind of pose with her arms behind her. And um, there's other parts that are rather well defined as well. And then we get down to her like um, stocking kind of things. Which are given a different paint treatment again, so they kind of look a bit shinier than the rest of her suit, which makes sense because these are probably like... Uh, lycra or leather or whatever and then we're down to the really interesting footwear that I'd never really known about with Froppy I I think it was just the fact that like they don't get featured in the anime much but she seems to have like springs set into her feet um, obviously because her powers are that of a frog it would make sense that she's got some kind of pressure plate things that can help her jump higher or something but honestly, these are really well modelled and stuff, and um, yet again, we've kind of got the like indentations and stuff that make it look like it's actually uh, a costume and not just kind of painted on skin or whatever. So we'll put her down gently there. And uh, I've got to say, I'm, I'm really impressed with this one. So I, I haven't bought many um, female uh, statues in general, really, just because I tend to, you know collect uh, shonen stuff and most characters tend to be shonen but honestly really impressed with this and I think th this has kind of convinced me to maybe get the Uravity one 
just to kind of have her with Froppy, and also because I'm kind of going for a fairly big lineup of My Hero Academia characters. But overall, I'm very impressed with this Froppy statue. I will say, I think in terms of Age of Heroes, of the three I've collected so far, I think the Mirio one is still slightly more impressive to me. The paint apps are a little more vibrant, and the pose and everything is pretty darn cool as well. But that's not to say that this isn't a good statue. I think, um, especially if you're a fan of Froppy, this is the most affordable, full, sort of like, well not full scale, but you know what I mean, like non-chibi version of Froppy you can get, because um, otherwise there's like a statue that's about 150 quid, and there's more chibi things that are sort of in the £10 range, but if you want an actual, like, normally proportioned uh, statue of Froppy, I, I think this is probably your best bet, at least for now, and, and you know, until they come out or something in the future, but no, overall I'm very happy that I have Best Girl from My Hero Academia. Now, in terms of the Class 1A uh, characters and stuff, I can't think of many more I'd like. I'd quite like um, Tsukiyama, I think that's his name, the, the eagle head guy. Uh, if not, I'll put it at the bottom here. I'd quite like him. I'd quite like Denki as well. Um, honestly, th there's a lot of potential for this line and I'm presuming that's what they're going to do over the next year or two. But not to take focus away, Froppy is a very good statue. If if you're a fan of her and stuff, I think you could do much worse than getting this statue. Maybe it's not quite on level with that really deluxe, like, £150 one. But for the price point and everything, this is really good. Um, so stick around. I'm going to do a few, um, like, a photo collage now of, like, taking photos of various parts of her and then maybe like her next to my other My Hero Academia statues just to give scale and stuff um, and to pad the video out a bit. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll leave you a playlist for like other statue reviews and stuff I've done and of course I'll be buying a fair few of these when they release in the future and stuff so keep an eye out for that because I'll be probably reviewing random ones as they come out. Uh, yeah, that about wraps it up so thank you very much for watching and until next time Goodbye.